What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythas and Tignorant and Jerry back again for another Cube World 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 Let's Play this game Journey to the North Block Return of the Seven Seas of Sinbad Let's Play. Yeah, this, that title is long as heck, isn't it? So, 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 you think, you think, you're thinking to yourself, Hey, didn't we just tackle one of these in yesterday's episode? And that's true. That's true. We did. Isn't that right, Jerry? I don't know how that's a camel sound. <laughs> but no, this is actually the temple of Ikogor. Ichabod Crane's castle. His uncle, Ikogor. This is, this is his castle. This is a dungeon. This is the one that we were trying to head to in yesterday's episode, but we didn't really make it. And now we're here. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to take care of this place off camera just because if you want to see one of these dungeons, you can see what we just did in yesterday's episode. And our real goal for the day is to go over to this dungeon and see what that is and then maybe see what that is. And then by then we might already be, well, we're already pretty far from town, but then we might already be journeying through the North Block again just because I'm not meaning to rush this biome, but the ocean biomes aren't my favorite, not to mention this one just isn't as cool as the first one that we went into. But anyway, I'm gonna take care of this dungeon now, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Quick status update. I've been in here for like 10 minutes, maybe even longer by now. This place has actually been extremely deadly, so it's been a good idea not to be recording it because this place is taking me a very long time to conquer. Jerry, unfortunately, has been pretty useless. We got one level and we still got a bunch of gear I gotta go through, but just because I want to make him a little stronger, we're gonna get our pet mastery to 10. I also want to get one more into our sailing, so our sailing's at 150% movement speed, and bring our flying to 200%. And then we still got a couple more skills here. I think I'll spend this and get our knockback ability to 40%. And bring the uh, mana shield up to 40%. And let's get... I don't use teleport very often in combat, so I'm not going to bother. But let's get... What should we get? What should we get? What should we get? I think... What do we use most? I guess riding's still pretty good, but... I want to get another one into... Mana shield. Yeah, I want to get another mana shield. Anyway, I'm going to continue onward in this dungeon. Here's the boss, Orkaz. He's a mage, he's an orc. There's a chest over there, and stuff like that. And now I'm gonna kill him. Okay, just killed him, got 27 platinum. We leveled up, he gave a lot of experience. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing, flying backflip, that I am totally excited for. Check this out. I don't know if you can make it on the text in the bottom left, because I'm still dealing with some settings to try and make that a little bit more readable. But, what you can notice is the color. Yellow. I think we just found our first unique, everybody. Okay, I still got a lot of equipment to scrounge through right here. There also is still a bunch of stuff that... I, I'm kind of confused about which stuff we've already been through and which we haven't. Because in the other episode yesterday, like... Oh my goodness. Okay, so we found... Wow. We found a yellow for a rogue. Not that we can use it, but that's still completely awesome. We found a lot of yellows. Holy crap. Okay, I got... Okay. Oh my goodness, seriously? No way. Okay, okay. I'm kind of just going through... We got a lot of blues. We got another yellow. I'm hanging on to those yellows. I don't care. I don't care if we can't actually use them. Okay, so here's some worn blah, blah, blah. Got good tempo. It doesn't have good armor or HP or anything on it, though. So it's no good. Green, green. Here's another blue. 49. Apparently the game considers this one better than the armor we're wearing. We lose a lot of HP. Our resistance and armor goes up by a bit. We get a crap ton of tempo, so that might actually be really good. I'll have to check. I'll have to try that out for a little bit. We got... Oh, man, we got so much great stuff today. I got, I'm probably going to die while I'm sitting here looking through all this stuff, but... Okay, uh, this one is... Uh, we don't need those. Who cares? Holy crap. I am I'm honestly surprised, everybody. We haven't even gotten through any of our stuff, but I mean, look at this. 
We found we found some pretty crazy things, man. There it is. I'm gonna hang on to those. This is the episode of rares, like straight up. Ooh! These shoulder pads are a significant upgrade from our other ones. We lose some of our tempo, but our resistances and armor go up by, like crazy. Oh my god. Okay. I'm still freaking out, man. Okay. These are for a rogue. Yellow. They are... What is this? Shining Iron Fist. So it's actually one of the dual wielding weapons. Okay. Well, we'll have to take care of that. Actually, you know what? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here and then we'll take care of all this equipment out in the world because then we can actually just continue walking right after. Plus, I'm still gonna have to fight my way out of here, I think. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. That's, yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. I can't believe this. Okay, okay, moment of truth. Shoulder pads for a mage. Yellow shoulder pads. Let's see. Now, I hope that you guys can read the text, but just in case you can't, HP for ours right now is 17.7. This is HP 23, so that's a big difference. Armor 1.3 jumps up almost by a whole percent. It goes up to 2.2. Resistance from 1.8 goes up to 3, so that's incredible. Crit 2.2, this one only gives us 2%, but it gives us 3.3 tempo, which is attack speed, and 0.3 to rig. I'm assuming reg is regeneration, or... I don't know. I don't know what that is, but holy crap. Oh my god. We actually got yellow. I can't believe that. And here's some more purple for a rogue. I guess... Do we hang on to purples? Should we hang on to some purples? I think yellows we should hang on to, but purples for... Like, even though this is for a rogue, I'm going to hang on to it in case I ever do actually play this series with multiplayer or something. Or just just because just because I like collecting things like that But I don't think there's a reason to hold on to any purples honestly This would probably be really good for a rogue, but who cares? Okay, then there's this armor which lowers our HP But it gives us considerable amount of tempo I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out for a bit. We'll hang on to our old one anyway Then there's a warrior yellow and that is one badass looking sword. I must say holy crap then we got some cotton boots for a rogue, which is another yellow. Wow, it's too bad we didn't run into more yellow for a mage. Ooh! Then we got some yellow gloves. Ours is HP 13, jumps up to 24.8. Armor goes from 1 to 2.1. Resistance, 1.3 to 2.8. Holy crap. Crit is 1.6, goes down to 1.5. But we get 3.8 tempo and 0.1 to that reg again. Wow, man. Now, I wonder, is that part of a set? Is that part of a set? I gotta, I gotta kind of reorganize our inventory here. Ooh, we got 99 platinum. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good. Okay, okay. Let's move this out of the way. That's actually really good armor. All the other classes seem to have some pretty decent armor. Like, straight up. Okay, okay. Now, there should be two things for a rogue, then there's the warrior thing, yeah. Can we equip any of our other gear? Nope, 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 nope. Then there's that purple, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, we actually got some yellows. I can't believe that. Now, I want to see. This is a e Zera's Splendid Silk Plate, and this is Leandor's. So we don't got items that are part of a set, but we still got some awesome stuff. Our guy actually looks badass except now we really need the armor and shoes to go with it man i don't know how i don't know if there's a proper technique to rare hunting though i wish i wish i knew if there was but that's incredible should we mm. i wonder if i should go back to town and rerun this dungeon because that seemed to give extreme rares hmm I don't know. I might have to... Because that's the thing is it's it's really tricky because I don't want to be doing that stuff on camera because I don't know if that's going to get boring for you guys. You know, kind of repeating stuff. But I'm actually very excited. That's the first time we've ever actually found some crazy ass drops like that. I think before we head to town though... Okay. I think we'll head over here in today's episode like I originally planned. We'll try and conquer that dungeon. And then maybe it depends because it takes so damn long to travel anywhere in this game. I wish there was fast traveling. I really do. 
Maybe if I have time today, but we'll see, I probably won't. I would like to go back to town to reset the quest so that we could come back here and do that daily quest again and then do this and then leave. But we'll probably only get to do this and then I'll probably end up having to stop for the day and then tomorrow's episode will probably, you know, journey to the Northland again. But anyway, that is just... Wow, man. I can't believe we found some yellows. And it's kind of weird, but I still think it's pretty cool. It's kind of weird that the yellow items that we got, like the yellow gear, is legit yellow on our character. Isn't that, isn't that strange? Isn't that weird? <laughs> but I am just, I am just, I'm happy. I'm all smiles, man. That is incredible. Ooh, a koala! Can we get him? Can we get him? That's the real question. I don't think these caramel bars are good for koalas or anything. As far as I know, that's why there's so many different variations. These candy bars, these mint chocolate bars, those are for recruiting birds, just like the jelly is refer for recruiting slimes. And then there's these popsicles, which I'm not sure what type of creature those are for. Because it'll be like... Like, I think this caramel chocolate one is for a desert. This milk chocolate one that's kind of blue, I'm assuming, is probably going to be for the bird that's in the ice biome or something like that. But don't quote me on it, because I don't know. I haven't actually read up any of that stuff just yet. But it doesn't look like we can get the koala with any of the food that we have right now. Get out of the way, weakling. Get out of the way. We are all powerful now. Ah, yeah. This is absolutely awesome, man. Oh! Ah! It's a mosquito. I want to see how strong he is. We already have a mosquito as a pet. Whoops. Oh, that was weird. I thought we deleted our item. Now, I'm not sure. Because Charlie is our mosquito. I think Charlie might be a better pick. Holy crap, this guy hurts. I think Charlie might be a better pet for a creature to actually hunt with us. So... Let me see if I can find him in time. There we go. Okay, he didn't respawn like I thought he would. Come on, go to the inventory. Charlie, get him! Oh, Charlie's only level 18, though. That's the only problem. That's the only real problem because it's like, you know... Now it's starting to get... It's starting to get difficult to organize our pets now, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe we got so many yellows. That's awesome, man. I can't believe that. Oh, man. I can't. Wow. I can't even, I can't even believe that we got that many yellows, like, straight up. That is absolutely incredible. I'm taking screenshots of this. I wish I could take screenshots of both of them, but, I, I mean, I don't really know how I would do that. But, I mean, wow. Ooh! This is kind of cool, but it's kind of getting me a little disappointed. Yeah, I'll explain in a minute. I'm just trying to kind of focus here on this mosquito because he's got a lot of health and he does a lot of damage. Whoop! And the frame rate's going to crap. Like, it really is. Oh, God. So it looks like we've managed to run into... Like, it's like this top half of this ocean biome. Rather than the south half seeming to make be islands that consisted of jungle biome, it seems like that was the worst teleport ever. It seems like now we're running into ones that consist like this is this desert because that's what a mosquito creature is too, right? So are we are we really just heading over to another desert, or did we just end up rolling desert islands for the top half of this ocean? I wonder. Because this place is big, man. It's too bad. It's too bad that we got out of the desert so quickly. I... Bleah, I really, really dug that place. That place was absolutely awesome. So, maybe that's how it generates. Maybe it kind of generates, like... See how there's islands underwater and stuff? Is that desert under there? Or is that ocean bottom? I don't know. There's a shark, too. I wonder if you can recruit them as pets. I haven't had a chance to check out the wiki yet. Because there hasn't really been anything that I've been running into. We've been we've been kind of moving pretty quick these past few episodes. So, you know, I haven't really had time to stop and smell the roses like we did when we were in the desert. Even though the desert didn't last very long because that was only like two or three episodes. I wish it would have been a lot longer, but that desert that we generated was actually just really small. 
unfortunately. So, yeah, and oceans seem to be taking up the entirety of the world, unfortunately. So, I'm really hoping. Oh God, we can take those guys on, but it takes a little bit of it takes a little bit of know-how. So, I'm not gonna be doing that just yet. But anyway, I guess. Well, the world's taking a little while to generate. There's some piranhas we can fight and stuff. So I'm going to deal with that and I think I'll see you guys when we get up to this dungeon. I really do hope, like I'm sorry if we run into it again, I really do hope that it's not going to be another one of those temples. Those temples are awesome, don't get me wrong, but I've already recorded enough footage of being inside those temples. So I don't know if you guys actually want to keep seeing me inside those temples. Plus the biggest problem is that it's nighttime right now like it's starting to get a little bit too dark so hopefully i can find like a campsite or something because i really hope that this episode doesn't end up turning into night because then it's gonna be too dark but unfortunately we might have to and if we do eh, then i'm sorry about that but anyway all right i'll see you guys over there and we are back and a lot of things have happened so i was going over here here was where the quest was that we were originally going for it was right in the middle here and it was actually kind of cool. It seemed like, oh, this is actually something unique because it was a giant sea creature. I never actually saw it, but the quest was pointing to something that was under the water and it was a certain boss to kill. But by the time I reached there, it was pitch black. It was the dead of the night. So yeah, I ended up camping out at one of these islands just for a little bit. And then I ended up coming over here to search for a bed, which thankfully I found. But oddly enough, that quest isn't there anymore. So we're just gonna ignore that sea creature, I guess, and go over here. It's too bad. I thought it would have been something cool to actually, you know, check out. Not that it would have been any cool giant sea monster or anything. I'm sure it would have probably just been like a light fish or something like that with a unique name, which who cares? We've already fought plenty of those guys. Oh, look, a spitter. It's one of those enemies from the old Zelda. I think we may have seen one of these before, but I don't remember. Maybe we've only fought one. Oh, and I fought a nomad too. And we actually killed them. So we can kill nomads now. And I spent two points into our sailing just so it would take a little less time for me to do all this sailing stuff off camera. So now our sailing speed is quite a bit. It's at like 185 and our next level it'll be to 200%. I still want a shark. I guess there wouldn't be a point though because look, even though it's a water creature, it still doesn't swim very well, does it? Yep. Oh, man. This is still awesome, though. We ran out of potions, and the biggest thing is we're out of, like, glass bottles. So I can't get us any more bottles of water. So I can't get us any more potions. Like, period. So this is our last cact this is our last cactus potion and then we're relying on food until we get to the next village because I am definitely not going to go all the way back to that one. Like this is just uh oh. I think we I th I turned I, I turned around. Holy crap. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I ate during the break while I was waiting for the sun to rise and yeah, now I'm all chapped up and stuff, but we got this anyways. And you know what? We're getting on the perfect time here, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna go take care of my congestion and clear my throat and stuff, and I'll see you guys here right after this commercial break. And we are back, and it turns out this is another underwater sea monster boss thing too. I don't see him anywhere just yet. I'm kinda looking around. Oh my God. I thought it was just gonna be another fish! This ain't no another fish! This thing's a monster! Alright, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Okay. Okay, this guy is gonna be trouble with capital L T. Oh my god, he Oh wait, I can't talk underwater. <laughs> Ah, God. Broke my own rule! Damn you, Syrian! Damn you! Oh my God, this thing is all powerful. I don't know if we can take this guy. Ah. Crash land on shore. Where is he? Is he still after us? Yes, he is. He's got a million health, though. I don't know if we can take him. I gotta get Jerry over here. Come on, get him, Jerry! Have at you! He roars and everything. Ow! Get off my island! Oh! Oh my god! 
Oh, he's scary. He's making noises. I don't know if we can take this guy. Oh, he's got a lot of health. And I mean a lot. He's kind of glitchy, though. So we might be able to beat him. So long as I just keep casting our magic missile barrier thing. Get down! Sit down on the ground, you damn monster! Okay, he seems to be kind of weak, actually. Get him, Jerry! He's got a lot of health, though, that's for sure. And so long as I keep our absorb spell on, I think we might be all right. Oh my goodness! He's beautiful and awesome! This boss fight I'm definitely leaving in. Even if it's a little bit boring for you guys, which hopefully it isn't. No, it isn't. Not when he roars like that! Oh! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! So long as we stay on the high ground, we got this guy. He's doing backflips and stuff! He's just roaring! Get out of here, Syrian! I didn't know that there was bosses this awesome in this game. This game has really been stepping it up with all the yellows and now even this. Ah. Screw you, monster! Oh! I used to love Godzilla as a kid, but you're going down. Oh, get out of here! Get him! Get him, Jerry! He's halfway down! His health is halfway down! This guy better drop something good! Okay. Thankfully... Okay, so this seems to be the ultimate strategy. Just get him on a hill. And then we are good. Okay, except when he gets that close. I just hope he isn't gonna do some crazy one-shot move! Ow! Run! Okay, he killed Jerry. Bring Jerry back to life. Ugh. Oh, God! Stop it! Why can't I stun you, you giant freak? Screw you and your damn roaring! Take that! Speak of the devil! We knocked him down! This guy's like the devil's dog! Good God! Ugh. That's a disadvantage of being up top, though, is if he knocks you down, you're just done, huh? Get out of here! Man, our skills are useless against him. He's invincible. He's at like almost a quarter health now. Get down the ground. Can we ever stun him? I want him to charge at us so he runs down and gets off the hill. Oh, he's at like a quarter health. Less than a quarter. He's at like one hit. Oh, that was loud and scared me, but we leveled up. He didn't give us anything worth experience. What did he drop? What did he drop? Green. Green. That's it? That's it? Really? Where's all that? Where, 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 where. Alright, where's all the new stuff? And crap, crap. Oh, oh, we got. Wait, there's a dusty gold ring. That's gonna be crap compared to our rings. We got a staff that might be better than ours. It's got 25 damage to it. It's got better tempo. Yeah, that's actually a lot better than our staff already. Ooh. It's not even green or anything. Cool. Okay. That wasn't from him, though. That was just in general. We got a green dual wielding weapon, so that could be good, but we're not that kind of build. And then we got something for a warrior, which who really cares? Dang. Well, that guy, that guy, that was an epic fight, to say the least. That was an incredible fight, but that was not. Oh, excuse me. I got one sec. Okay. Sorry about that. But yeah. That was, that was an intense battle, that was absolutely awesome, but it is really too bad, like, I thought he was gonna, like, guaranteed give us, like, GET HIM, JERRY! DON'T JUST STAND THERE AND LET ME TAKE IT ON MY OWN, COME ON! OH, WE DON'T HAVE A POTION EQUIPPED, WE'RE GONNA DIE. I THOUGHT WE COULD TAKE ON ONE OF THESE NOMADS, THAT'S WHY I KINDA GOT A LITTLE COCKY, ESPECIALLY AFTER FIGHTING THE SURIAN. THAT THING, THAT THING WAS AWESOME, BUT, MAN, DID IT! Wow, come on. This guy is stronger than the Surian. He doesn't have as much health, but he's stronger than it. And he probably has a better chance of dropping something better for us, too. <laughs> wow. We died at... <sighs> there. We died when he was at one shot. That's pathetic. I, I don't like... I, I'm getting... That's, that's annoying, man. Yeah, I'm not happy. We got to fight an incredible boss, yes. Did he drop anything or give us good experience? No. You know what actually gave us more experience and better drops? 
That temple that was back there. I don't know why it hasn't refreshed. Are you supposed to go to the inn in order to refresh your dungeons? I don't know. But yeah, that's... That's disappointing, to say the least. Uh, do we want to go to the next biome yet? Do we? Huh. I guess we could. That's already pretty crazy, though, fighting the Surian. But it doesn't seem like there's any dungeons generated around us, so... So we'll, we'll go on top of this island and keep exploring. And sorry about the sirens in the background. I don't know if you hear it, but our journey to the Northland, to the North Block, continues. Because, uh, actually, you know what? One sec. Yeah, that should be a little bit better. Okay. And yeah, that's, that's, that was awesome. That was an incredible boss fight. That really was. But that, that really was also very anticlimactic. Like, he didn't even, he didn't drop anything. His experience was only 70, which is still good, don't get me wrong. Wait, unless we got a crap load of platinum. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know how much platinum we had before we fought him. But, I'll have to check the footage later or something, if I even remember. But, yeah! Anyway, I guess, ooh! That's a strange looking island. I wanna go check that out before we continue our journey to the North Block. Oh, God. See, that's the biggest problem I ran into. It's like, it's just an ocean biome. It's just blue. What do you have to generate? Generate the damn world. Come on. Come on. Generate faster. This is what happens when you get to the edge of the world. For some reason, it starts ungenerating itself and then regenerates itself. It's really annoying and it really needs to, I think it really needs to be fixed. But hey, it's an alpha build right now and there's only two people on the team that created this game. So, oop. If you end up going too far off screen, I don't like doing it very often, but if you end up going way too far off the screen, it ends up just pretty much spitting you into a loading screen, and all you see on your screen is, please wait. And I don't know if it takes twice as long or not, but come on, man. Generate, I want to get to this island. This is taking too much time. There we go. Damn blue. Go away. Go away. Get out of here. Oh, what was that? There was some weird enemy. Oh, where? Oh, it's a spike creature. We haven't fought one of these dudes in like forever. I don't care. I'm just gonna run straight in his face and he can't handle any of it. Scrub. Yeah, maybe we won't get to a new biome today because I keep getting distracted and stuff. Plus that was already, that was definitely gonna be the climax of the episode is fighting that Syrian or whatever it was called because man, I honestly didn't expect there to be unique bosses like that. I thought it was just going to be another fish with a unique name. Wow! That's awesome, and we actually got to take it on, so I guess whether it dropped good stuff or not, it's still great that we were actually able to kill it and find out for ourselves the hard way that it actually dropped stuff. Ooh. Is our next biome going to be a jungle? I wonder. I wonder. I'm actually really curious. I want to check that out, but... I'm kind of I'm kind of procrastinating a little bit because I don't want to get to the jungle yet in this episode. But maybe maybe we'll just yeah I know what we'll do. We'll just get to the jungle. Um, well, maybe we'll get to the jungle, and I'll just kind of kill all these fish and stuff along the way. No, I guess not. There's not really much point. But I need time for the world to load. That's the only problem. But yeah. We'll end up, ooh, a seahorse. I wish we could recruit some of these things, but. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> I wish we could recruit some of these fish and stuff, but they're kind of slow anyway. I don't think they'd be able to keep up. Ooh. Oh. It looks like we're generating another desert. Is that right? Is that another desert? I want to kind of, I want to kind of get to the outland the edge of the map right here and just kind of skim the island. I don't really want to go on to it just yet because I want to kind of keep it a surprise for tomorrow's episode, especially for myself because, I, you know, like I said, man, new biome or not, it's not going to top that boss. That thing was crazy. The fact that it even was making noise and stuff, I might have to turn it down. We'll actually, we'll actually, I'll have to see in the recording afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> And I even broke my rule for a second and started talking underwater. That's no good. It looks like we're generating another desert. 
Is it really? There's green mixed in though. This actually looks awesome. I love the look of this little map right here with all this water and alcove and stuff. I don't want to see though. I don't want to see. I'm going to stay at the edge of the map here. I'm going to just stay at the edge. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go a little bit more to the west and try to generate a little bit more of this outskirts right here, fighting a little more of these enemies. This is kind of going to... This is kind of going to be a slow part of the episode, and I'm sorry about that, but really, I want I to I save that. I want to save the biome for the next episode or something, because I don't know. It looks like it might just be a desert, though. I'm really curious, but it's really going to... Well, what do you guys think? You think we should check it out? I think we should check out just the titch it looks like it's a desert though that's too bad if it isn't our desert though actually because i didn't want to run into that means we're gonna be running into duplicate biomes that's too bad i was really hoping we'd end up running into a jungle or something especially with all these jungle trees that are all around i really want to run into a jungle straight up i think that's the next one that i want to run into and i hope that we can find an apple core so that we can get a crocodile as a pet because that'd be awesome Especially be able to ride one of them. I don't want to run into a frozen tundra biome, an Iceland area. Not yet. Not yet. Because actually, that's the one area that I still haven't written any music for. So, whoa, this dude looks badass. Hey, Frogman. Ilweba. I like your style. I like your style, too. Maybe he heard us, and that's why. Maybe that's why. Oh, there's a bed here. I'm going to take advantage of it to heal up. Yeah, this is definitely flying back flip out bet. This is definitely get over here, Jerry. Come on. Yeah, this is definitely a desert. Alright, 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 alright. I'll head into the desert in this episode. Alright, alright. I'll well lands of Saron. Yeah, it's another desert, alright. Okay. I can deal. You know what? That's good. That's good. It's, it's kind of disappointing just because I thought we'd be on a little bit more of a roll, you know? That we, It's kind of disappointing that we ran into a new one. But hey, I was saying, right? Like, the desert didn't last very long. I wanted it to last longer. And now we're in another desert. So that's perfect. That's actually great. I mean, I kite them and get all these guys in on us. Come on, Jerry! Kill your cousins! And now that we're all powerful, too, I think we'll be able to take on a lot of the monsters that... We couldn't pry her when we ran into this desert. Plus, this one looks like it generated quite differently. So, I'm excited to see. Because that's the cool thing about this game. Did it fall in the water? Yeah, yeah, it did. That's one of the things I'm excited to see. Because, yes, we've already been in a desert. But, this one's probably going to be quite different. And that's... Like, look at this. This is actually awesome, man. This is great. I want to see what's over this horizon. I just want... Ooh! Ooh! Dwarves! Get him! Wow, these guys hurt. Or not so much that they hurt, they just have a lot of health. Take that! You kill my camel, I kill all of you. And that only seems fair, right? Whoa. Whoa! Sand horror? Oh, we fought them before. So it seems... It seems like... Oh, oh! there's a desert bird. I want to test something out. I want to test something out. I want to see if this caramel, because it's kind of brown and sand color. I want to see if this game is actually that easy, where it's like the one that looks like a desert. Yeah, okay, awesome. So these are all for the birds. The one that look like looks like it's from the desert is for the desert runner, appropriately. This one's probably for the Northlands. This one's probably for the jungle. Okay, so that makes it a lot more... Or, a lot easier than you'd think. Huh. Cool, 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 cool. And it looks like we generated... Unless that's just because we're on the outskirts. Oh, excuse me. But it looks like we generated a desert that's a lot greener. And that's awesome. That's great. This is actually really cool. This is actually really great. I'm going to have to come up with a name with this dude. Oh, we can ride him. That's awesome. And he's level... 25 so I think we're gonna be using this guy for most of this place yeah what do we call him desert runner oh well clearly name pet chocobo of course of course it has to be man it has to be what did, it, what did these devourers 
I think we'll kill these guys and then we'll maybe call it an episode before I get a little bit too carried away. Because I don't want to push this episode a little too fast. Ooh! You know what? He's actually going to be really good because of how fast he is. This desert runner? Like, look, he's, a, he's one of these constant attacking enemies. So that's actually great. That's going to really, I think, help us out in our mage. Because he'll be able to tag enemies and get their aggro off of us right away. Ooh. Generate world. I want to check it out. Wow. This is beautiful, man. All right. Chocobo. I know that's like the lamest name ever because it's just naming him a different species. But hey. Anyways, we're going to call it here. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that all of you have enjoyed this episode and have been enjoying this series thus far. And if you enjoyed this video all the way to the very end, be sure to leave a like. It really does mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see more in this series, everybody, be sure to subscribe. Flying backflip, sayonara, and stay epic. Your face.